I'm getting ready to make some uh, domodakias. It's a Greek uh, stuff, stuffed grape leaves, and they're really good, uh, this recipe is. A lot of people say that it takes a long time to acquire a taste for them, but I think if you season them right, uh, they're very good the first time you eat them. So I'm going to start off. First, I, I did wash my grape leaves. Um, they come in a jar, and I took them out, and I washed the brine off of them and drained them. So they're all in here ready, and, but first I have to cook the filling. I'm going to start off with a little bit of olive oil, about a half of a cup. And I've got some uh, on fine chopped onion. I like it chopped up fine so that when you uh, wrap these up in the grape leaves, that it's all blended together. And I have some shallots uh, chopped here. I'm going to add them in. All of them out. Okay, and I want to saute this for a few minutes. Get all this out so that it gives it good flavor. We'll just saute this for maybe uh, four or five minutes. I'm going to be putting some rice in this and a lot of people tell you not to rinse your rice first but I do because occasionally you'll get some rice that has a musty taste to it and I found that by rinsing it in cold water uh, quickly and draining it I never get that uh, taste in it. Let that cook a couple more minutes until the onions are a little tender. Now I'm going to add the remaining olive oil, which is about another half a cup. I'm going to add the rice. Then we have salt and pepper, a little sugar. Then we have mint.
so a few other herbs here. All these herbs gives it a really good flavor. And then I have some lemon juice. And then I have about a cup of water. That will give some broth for the rice to cook up in. Stir it up really good so it's blended. And then I'm going to cover it and let it cook until that rice is nice and tender. Uh, maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll show you how we stuff the grape leaves. Okay, uh, the filling is ready to put in the grape leaves now. It's nice and tender. And so I'm going to uh, take the lid off here. And I'm going to take uh, one of the grape leaves out and uh, show you how I roll them up. Let's see. Now a lot of people uh, will pre-cook these grape leaves. It makes them tender, but it also makes them a little more difficult to roll. Um, and I do like mine tender when I eat them. So instead of cooking them on the stove like a lot of people do, I put them in the oven. The flavor gets through better and they're more tender. So I'm going to take this grape leaf and just lay out here like this. And you want, um, let's see, oh, you want the uh, rough side up, the, where you see the, the little uh, vines running through it, the veins of it. You want that up. And so then I'm going to just take a scoop, a tablespoon here, and place it on the grape leaf. And you see the grape leaf has a little hole here so where it comes together. So you want to, I lay it right in front of that so you don't lose the filling. And just roll it over. And you want to roll them tightly. So I just uh, pull the filling back as I cover it up. And then I fold these sides in and that keeps the filling in it. And then you continue to roll the, um, the domodaki up. Roll it as tight as you can. Now another thing, uh, um, like I was saying, I feel like they cook better in the oven, but almost everyone cooks them on top of the stove. So I just place them in the uh, casserole dish, and I will um, butt them up to each other and pack them real tightly in there. So um, I'm going to do a few more now. Now a lot of people... Uh, some people will cut these large ones in half and use them like that, but because they have holes in them, sometimes they're a little more difficult to roll. So, And I like the grape leaves, so I just use them, the big ones and the small ones. And again, I'm just going to fold the leaf over and pull the filling back. And tuck it as tightly as you can get it, and then I'll fold the sides over like this to keep the filling in and then I will continue to roll it up. And then I'll place this one right up next to that one. Now here I have a smaller leaf so I'm going to show you um, that either way if you want to cut if you want to cut one of the bigger ones in half you can do that but I just go ahead and roll them up the best I can like this. It's kind of like making cabbage rolls. See the little ones, you it's more apt to lose some of the filling. And because I bake them in the oven, the grape leaves get very tender. Here we'll do another one. You want to put them up real close to each other. Okay, I'm on my last leaf 
well, the last filling. I have a few leaves left over, but uh, I'm rolling this last one up. And I'm just going to pack these all down. You want to put the seam side down. And you see how tightly it fits in the casserole dish? And I have a few grape leaves left over. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place these on top of all of them. You don't need to do this, but they're good to eat, and you may as well use them up. Now, if you put these on the stove, you will um, pack them in a stove top, maybe a skillet or uh, a pan, and you pack them the same way. So I'm putting those on there, and I want to um, sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice over it, and a little more olive oil, and then I'm going to pour enough water over it so that they're all covered. Now, in order to keep them where they don't float around or anything, you want them to stay put in the dish. So I'm going to, I don't have a, a dish that, a oven proof dish that fits perfectly. So I'm just taking some uh, layers of foil and then I'm going to weight them down with these plates so that they don't come up out of the water. And I'm going to set these in the oven and let them uh, in there for maybe uh, an hour, and then we'll take them out and show them to you. In the meantime, while they're in the oven baking, I'm going to make up some sauce to go with them. Okay, um, I just got these out of the oven, and they should be perfect. I'm gonna lift the foil off and the plates. Let me pull some of the leaves back. I'm going to put a couple on the plate so you can see how they look. Got them packed in here really tightly. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to, this is the way you would serve them. You'd put the uh, a little of the tzatziki sauce. Now, some people like these cold and some people like them hot or warm. I prefer them a little warm. I don't like them as well cold. But this is the way you would serve them.